If you've ever wondered why people seem to have different ways of approaching life, making decisions, or even interacting with others, then you're in the right place. The MBTI is a tool that helps us understand and categorize these diverse personality traits. Today, we'll be diving into the 16 distinct personality types that make up the MBTI system. From the logical thinkers to the compassionate healers, each type brings its own unique set of strengths and preferences. The Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, MBTI, is a popular psychological tool that assesses personality preferences based on four dichotomies, resulting in 16 possible personality types. But before we jump into the specifics, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exploration of the human mind. The four dichotomies are Extroversion E versus Introversion I. People who prefer extroversion are generally outgoing, social, and energized by interactions with others. Individuals who prefer introversion are more reserved, reflective, and gain energy from spending time alone. Alex, as an extroverted individual, thrives in social settings, always seeking out opportunities to connect with others. Whether it's organizing group outings, attending parties, or participating in team activities at work, Alex gains energy from being around people. Alex is known for being outgoing, talkative, and quick to initiate conversations. The more social interactions, the better, as Alex finds inspiration and excitement in the external world. Now let's shift our focus to Emma, an introverted individual. Emma, in contrast to Alex, values solitude and introspection. While not shy, Emma prefers smaller, more intimate gatherings or spending time alone to recharge. Engaging in deep conversations or immersing oneself in a good book is where Emma finds energy. While Emma can be sociable, there's a need for quiet and reflective moments to maintain a sense of balance. These moments of introspection provide Emma with the clarity and focus needed to navigate the external world. Sensing S versus Intuition N. Those who prefer sensing are focused on concrete information and details, relying on their five senses to perceive the world. Individuals who prefer intuition are more interested in patterns, possibilities, and abstract concepts, relying on their intuition to interpret information. For example, Sarah is a sensing individual. Sarah is highly observant and detail-oriented, always paying close attention to the concrete information present in her surroundings. She relies on her five senses to gather data and is skilled at noticing specific facts and practical details. Sarah is known for her grounded and realistic approach to problem solving, often drawing on her past experiences to inform her decisions. In her work, she excels at tasks that require precision and attention to practical details. Now let's turn our attention to Chris, an intuitive individual. Chris is imaginative and future-oriented, often drawn to possibilities beyond the immediate reality. Rather than focusing on the concrete details, Chris enjoys exploring patterns, connections, and potential outcomes. Known for thinking outside the box, Chris is innovative and open to unconventional ideas. In problem solving, Chris often considers the broader implications and is comfortable with ambiguity, valuing the exploration of new and uncharted territories. Thinking T versus Feeling F People who prefer thinking make decisions based on logic and objective analysis, often prioritizing consistency and fairness. Those who prefer feeling make decisions based on personal values, considering the impact on people and relationships. Meet Ryan, a thinking individual. Ryan is logical, objective, and analytical in his decision-making process. When faced with a challenge, Ryan prioritizes rationality and considers the most efficient and effective solutions. In the workplace, he values clear policies and procedures, striving to make decisions based on facts and evidence. While empathetic, Ryan may lean towards tough love, providing straightforward feedback to help others improve and achieve their goals. Now let's introduce Morgan, a feeling individual. Morgan is empathetic, compassionate, and values harmony in relationships. When making decisions, Morgan prioritizes personal values, considering how choices might impact individuals and relationships. In the workplace, Morgan is skilled at understanding and navigating the emotions of others, creating a supportive and inclusive environment. Morgan may approach feedback with a focus on how it will affect the well-being of the team and individuals involved. Judging J versus perceiving P, Individuals who prefer judging like structure and order prefer planning and are decisive in their approach to life. Those who prefer perceiving are more flexible, adaptable, and spontaneous, often enjoying open-ended options and being adaptable to change. Meet Emily, a judging individual. Emily loves structure, planning, and organization. 
She thrives on setting clear goals and deadlines, creating to-do lists, and sticking to a well-defined schedule. In her work, Emily is known for her ability to meet deadlines consistently, and she finds satisfaction in completing tasks before moving on to the next. Emily appreciates order and predictability in her life, and she values decisiveness in decision-making. Now let's introduce Alex, a perceiving individual. Alex is spontaneous, adaptable, and prefers flexibility and planning. Instead of rigid schedules, Alex enjoys going with the flow, embracing opportunities as they arise. In the workplace, Alex may thrive in dynamic and changing environments, able to pivot and adapt quickly to new circumstances. Alex is open-minded and values the exploration of possibilities, often delaying decisions to gather more information. These dichotomies result in 16 personality types, each represented by a four-letter code. For example, an individual could be an INFJ, introverted, intuitive, feeling, judging, or an ESTP, extroverted, sensing, thinking, perceiving. To better understand these personality types, we've even prepared some fictional examples to give you a taste of what each personality type might look like in action. ISTJ, the inspector. Robert is an ISTJ, working as a project manager in a construction company. He meticulously plans every phase of a project, ensures adherence to deadlines, and values the efficiency of a well-organized team. ISFJ, the protector. Sarah, an ISFJ, is a dedicated elementary school teacher. She creates a nurturing and structured classroom environment, pays attention to each student's needs, and is always ready to offer support and guidance. INFJ, the counselor. Olivia is an INFJ working as a nonprofit coordinator. She is passionate about social justice, empathizes deeply with those in need, and dedicates her time to creating positive change in her community. NTJ, the mastermind. James, an INTJ, is a strategic consultant. He thrives on analyzing complex problems, devising innovative solutions, and implementing long-term plans to help businesses succeed in a competitive market. ISTP, the craftsman. Alex is an ISTP, a skilled mechanic who loves fixing and upgrading cars. He enjoys hands-on work, troubleshooting technical issues, and finds satisfaction in the tangible results of his craftsmanship. ISFP, the composer. Maya is an ISFP, a free-spirited musician who creates soulful and expressive music. She draws inspiration from nature, values personal authenticity, and uses her art to evoke emotions in her audience. INFP, the healer. Emma, an INFP, is a compassionate psychologist. She connects with her clients on a deep level, helping them explore their emotions and find their own paths to healing and self-discovery. NTP, the thinker. Ethan is an INTP, a brilliant computer scientist who enjoys solving complex coding challenges. He is driven by curiosity, values, logical problem solving, and constantly seeks to push the boundaries of technological innovation. STP, the dynamo. Chris is an ESTP, a dynamic and adventurous travel blogger. He fearlessly explores new destinations, seeks out adrenaline-pumping activities, and shares his experiences with an enthusiastic online audience. ESFP, the performer. Taylor is an ESFP, a charismatic actor who loves entertaining audiences. Taylor's lively personality, creativity, and natural stage presence make them a standout performer in both theater and film. ENFP, the champion. Alex is an ENFP, a social entrepreneur dedicated to creating positive change. With boundless energy and a passion for innovation, Alex establishes community projects that bring people together for a common cause. ENTP, the visionary. Nicole is an ENTP, a forward-thinking scientist specializing in renewable energy. She constantly generates new ideas, challenges conventional thinking, and leads research initiatives aimed at creating a sustainable future. ESTJ, the supervisor. David is an ESTJ, a successful business executive who thrives in leadership roles. He values efficiency, sets clear expectations for his team, and ensures that organizational goals are met with precision. ESFJ, the provider. Lisa is an ESFJ, a caring and organized event planner. She effortlessly coordinates social gatherings, paying attention to every detail to create a warm and inclusive atmosphere for guests. ENFJ, the teacher. Daniel is an ENFJ, an inspiring high school teacher. He fosters a supportive learning environment, encourages his students to explore their potential, and serves as a mentor for those facing challenges. ENTJ, the commander. Rachel is an ENTJ, a determined and influential CEO of a tech company. She sets ambitious goals, leads with a strategic vision, and motivates her team to achieve success through effective planning and execution. 
And there you have it. We've explored the intricacies of each of the 16 personality types, from the meticulous inspectors to the visionary champions. Remember, the MBTI isn't about putting people in boxes. It's a tool for self-discovery, understanding others, and fostering better communication. Before we wrap up, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What's your MBTI type, and did the examples resonate with your experiences? Share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation going. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to Better Plus for more insights into the fascinating realms of psychology and self-discovery.